Hello. <laughs> just thought I'd come on because I got some happy posts yesterday. Um, first of all, though, I've just been to Hobbycraft. I was rather hoping that they would have a sale on and that the Christmas fat quarters would be in the sale. The reason I went there today was because I have had a £5 voucher to spend since my birthday at the beginning of December and it was running out today so I nipped in there. Ended up just getting a couple of Gutterman threads. Gutterman? Gutterman? Not sure how you pronounce it. Gutterman sounds right to me. I'm probably wrong. Anyway, I just got some neutral flavours. So I've got, oh yes, I've got some room. Um, let me just stick that there for now. So yes, yeah, so I've got happy post yesterday, which I thought I'd come and share with you. I'll just let you know, I am wearing the Tilly in the Buttons Freya with the extended neck, because I quite like a high neck, although it could be doing, doing with being a little bit thinner. But um, yes, so, and I got this fabric from the lovely Adele's from Sofa Serenity's d stash on Instagram. Um, and it's just a cotton jersey in a pink with like a black kind of bow design, I suppose. So anyway, back to the happy post. So the happy post I got was from Sarah at Simple Life. Hopefully that's the right way around. If not, we'll do something about it. Um, basically, uh, I, and that comes, I had this fabric and I made a Freya tap top in that fabric and absolutely loved it and I've got some left over to make hopefully some Tilly in the Buttons Iris knickers um, but I wore it I wore my Freya top to the hairdressers and unfortunately it got completely ruined so I bought some more because I really loved the top so I really do apologise that I'm not looking at the camera I keep trying to remember to look but it's not comfortable I want to look at myself which is wrong I know but I'll try to get better so anyway, you get a beautiful note in a beautiful little handmade bag from Sarah. And it's just so sweet. Um, and I know she loves this fabric and I know she's got a top in it because I bought it before she told me. I've not seen her top, but she said she liked my Freya top. So, so that's beautiful. It's just a beautiful cotton jersey. It's a uh, Poppy Europe Designs. Such good quality, so lovely to work with. Um, absolutely love that. I highly recommend for beginners getting the Tilly and the Button stretch book, which is where the Freya um, pattern is in. Unfortunately, I've left it at D's, <laughs> so um, I must remember to grab that back because I'd like to make some pajamas out of it. I think that's one of my on my on my make nines list that we will be doing later on. So other than that, I then had a £50 birthday voucher for Minerva to spend and a £50 voucher for Christmas for, for Minerva from my mother-in-law. She is the best. She's the absolute best. I love my mother-in-law. Um, <clears throat> so from there, I bought this cotton, cotton poplin, I think it is. And sunflowers on a royal blue background and I bought that to make myself this it's a no me pattern now I want to make this dress with these sleeves okay so that dress with those sleeves now I have before I started sewing I wanted a dress like that I'd seen a couple online that I really liked and I thought, oh, I really want that dress. I really want a dress like that. Then when I started saying, I thought, oh, I'm going to make myself a dress like that. And I came across this pattern about a month ago, a month and a half ago. I thought, that's just perfect. Exactly what I want. Um, and so I bought that fabric to make that in for the summer. And I've got some more fabric coming from Pound Fabrics, which is just a navy with a polka dot. Again, a cotton poplin. And that's to make that dress again as well and to make Richie's shirt, which is uh, another make nine thing. But again, we're going to that at a later date. So I bought that, the pattern I already had. And then I got this, which I'm gonna have to refer to my notes because it's a long, it's a long title and um, I don't want to get it wrong. I will just say again, uh, Minerva, custom service, 
is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, always. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where are my notes? Oh. Bear with me. Do you, I'm going to pause and maybe Deacon edit that out, but maybe not. We will see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. So this is a one metre of Minerva Core Range Melange, I believe it's pronounced, tubular ribbon stretch knit fabric in forest green. And that is 13.99 per metre. If you can see that, it's really pretty. It's um, got a bit of stretch. So that's one. And then I got... <laughs> so excited to have this. <laughs> Can you see how pretty that fabric is? Oh, it's just stunning. Sorry, I had to have a little sniff because it's like books, isn't it? Got a sniff. So I've got 2.8 metres, which is how much I need to make. The tilly and the buttons. Billy. I've wanted to make this for a while. I've had the pattern for a short time. When I was 13, 14, I was probably 14 or 15, I had the most amazing jumper dress that my mum bought me for Christmas one year. And it was red, it was quite short. I used to wear it with red thick tights and I absolutely loved it. And I wore it to death. And I, as soon as I started sewing, I knew I wanted to make a jumper dress. So this is the one I'm gonna go with. Seems very popular in the sewing community. So yes, yeah, so this hopefully will look fabulous on me. I'm hoping, but I just love it. It kind of looks shiny, but it's not. It's just the colours. Anyway, <laughs> that is Minerva exclusive boudoir bouquet, darling. Loop back French terry stretch knit fabric. And it is 19 99 per metre. And I've had my eye on it for some time. And when my mother-in-law asked what I would like for Christmas, or asked Richie what I would like for Christmas, I said I'd really like a voucher for Minerva so that I could get this and um, it's a special treat so that is my plan for that fabric so that's my happy post concluded um, hopefully you will have seen or will be seeing a little video of my sewing space which is where I'm sat right now as you can see mm -hmm. Father Christmas in the background. Father Christmas will be going later on today because it is the 5th. Excuse me, 5th of January. So that'll be going. And yeah, just thought I'd come on and say hello and share my goodies with you. Um, next lot of goodies will either be the pound fabrics um, fabric arriving or... So Hayley Jane. I do love my So Hayley Jane box. Anyway, that's it. Farewell, keep well, happy sewing, and see you soon. Take care, bye bye. So, this is my sewing space, my bespoke sewing table made by my gorgeous husband for my birthday. It's the Marlowe cut out ready to go that Richie cut out for me. My weights that were ham arm weight things, <laughs> uh, which is now my sewing weight. So we've got Stevie the sewing machine, Otis the overlocker, and then we've got my shelves that Richie also put up for my birthday. So I've got half the living room. I don't have my own sewing room. I have half the living room and that is not my sewing space. Lulu Bell keeps claiming my chair. And then as you can see, I've got my little storage for my fabrics. My jingly bows, which I love, jingle bows. And there's Lulu Bow. And there's my special iron that I got for Christmas. Amongst other bits from Richie. Anyway, that's my sewing space. Welcome. Hi everyone. So today I am wearing a Saguaro set. Um, in a double gauze from Sarah Simple Life. Um, really love this set because it's comfy pyjamas and working from home, it's just really, really comfortable. Um, and I'm gonna give you a little tour of my sewing space, um, which is actually in the conservatory off the lounge. I'm really, really lucky. However, first of all, a small disclaimer, compared to Kelly's space, 
mine's a pigsty. It's definitely a working space. It is regularly used. Um, and yeah, it doesn't get much tidying because I prefer to be sewing, if I'm honest. So I'll just turn the camera around and we'll go and have a look. So here we go. This is my space. Isn't it fabulous? So a little tour quickly. So it also, I do do a little bit of hairdressing still for friends and family. So there's a little area there which has a teeniest amount of hair stuff on it. Um, everything else is pretty much sewing stuff really. So in here, this is all my shoe stuff. So these are all the tools that I need for my shoes, for my shoemaking. That's where I tend to keep all of those things. So that's that. Work in progress cardigan and underwear set underneath there. And on this one we have, um, to save her modesty, she has a robe on which I made and that's from um, one of the fabrics that's a little cord fabric that came in my So Hayley Jane box last year I think might have even been the year before actually I can't remember so anyway so that's Pepsi and Shirley and that's because everything in my room is named with an 80s name so over here we have um, our brother Overlocker who is Luke the reason he's Luke is because when I got him, I already had a brother sewing machine who's called Matt. So it's Matt and Luke. Those of you that are born sort of that are over 40, say, probably know who Bross are. If not, you better ask your parents. Um, and over there we have Madge, who is my latest sewing machine. Although I say latest, I've had her over a year now. Madge as in Madonna, one of my favourite singers. So um, here we have a Levi's. Um, a little board that I made, a little thing with all the Levi's pockets from our old jeans that don't fit us or a tatty or whatever. Made that in the garden a couple of years ago. Really like that. And that's my current work in progress, which is a shirt for Matt. It's the first time I've done a shirt, so it be interesting to see how the collar comes out, etc. And I'll be carrying on with that um, when I finish doing this video. So that's my weekend job. And that's the McCall's pattern there that I'm using for that. There's bits I need to work on. Also working on a little embroidery journal there. I'm not going to get too close because it's not very good. I'm not very good at hand embroidery, but there you go. Um, other than that, we've got little shoes around. See my shoes up there that I've made. There's some more over in the corner there. So try to showcase them some purses. All my books are up there, my patterns. Some threads there. See, there's just so much going on. That's pottery my daughter bought me for my birthday. I still haven't got around to doing. There is actually a record player under here too. Um, yeah, because I like to listen to records. As I said, I'm an 80s girl. I think I've even got an 80s album down here. Yeah, there we go. Look, 80s yearbook. That's me. So, oh, there's all my scraps and leftover bits that I really need to try and use up a little bit more and in here we've got a whole bag a whole box of denim which um, I'm also recycling and in there we've got all my fat quarters and the little shelf above it is where I've got all my underwear making stuff and in here is my main stash fabric and there is also some down the bottom there as you can see um, and in there we have my shoe lasts, there's some more shoe stuff in there, and in that one we've got patterns. Um, these are amazing, these are my electric scissors, absolutely adore those. So that's it really, outside we've got the box in the summer, it's nice and close, go and get a drink. Uh, yeah, that's really my sewing space. Sorry about the mess, but hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs>